What is up guys? This is part three of my indie game series where I take a game from idea all the way to release with the goal of getting it to generate $1,000 a month in revenue. Today's video is all about ASO and how to do it the right way in order to give yourself the best chance of receiving that golden traffic from the app store without having to spend money on marketing. You see, I have built my entire game studio around ASO. Every month I consistently generate around 20 to 30,000 organic installs from the app store. Now, considering it's 95% US traffic, to put that in perspective, even if you were to obtain installs for as low as $1, which is pretty difficult to do, near impossible, you would have to spend around $30,000 to get the same amount of installs, which is absolutely insane. So if there's anyone that understands the importance of organic traffic, it's this guy right here. Now, because free traffic from the App Store is highly sought after, it means there is a ton of competition. So over the last couple of years, through trial and error, I have learned some best practices, which helps me give my games the best possible chance at ranking well on the App Store and increasing that organic traffic. And these are some best practices that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video. And I'm even gonna take you into my computer and I will show you um, my basic strategy of finding keywords um, with low competition and high traffic. I like to use this analogy when talking about ASO. I want you to close your eyes and imagine that the app store is a beautiful woman. Now you could approach her in a bar and you could kind of bullshit her and manipulate her into thinking that you are a great guy to get that first date. Excuse me, do you think these bar napkins smell like chloroform? I'm kidding, Fred Searing, can I buy you a drink? But ultimately, if you do take that approach, after some time, she's gonna realize that you're full of shit and she's gonna be out that door in a few seconds. So it's the same with ASO guys. We always try and take shortcuts. You always try and take, uh, use black hat methods, which might work in the short term. But after a while, Apple's gonna pick up on your bullshit and everything's gonna be gone overnight. So I always advocate stay away from black hat tactics. Stay away from people who approach you and say they can guarantee you a specific uh, ranking on the App Store. No one can guarantee that. You might be able to say, hey, looking at your, your rankings, we could improve it somewhat. But when people start guaranteeing things, just run away as fast as you can. So Apple have clear set guidelines for best practices. They actually tell you what they want in, in, um, in apps and games. So it's our responsibility to follow these and give them that, what they want. Same thing with the beautiful woman. You can, you can manipulate her and all that bullshit and and you're gonna see short-term results. You say no to me? <laughs> you say no to me? No, 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 no. But you could take the harder way around, more, be more patient, start working out, get in shape, get your financial, um, get financially independent, all these things that a beautiful woman might want. And this takes patience and time. So I always say ASO, is a patience game and you need to you need to have a bit of patience and and keep monitoring there hasn't been a day that's gone by in the last i would say four or five years that i haven't checked keyword rankings that i haven't checked analytics you know so you always have to be on top of this and uh, this is the only way that you can ensure that you will get consistent results another thing to note is that keywords are just one part of the aso equation there are so many other factors that determine how well your app or your game is going to rank on the App Store. Your screenshots, your icon, there's also your download velocity, your retention rate. Also another one that people don't understand, how is your account, uh, is it in good standing with Apple? Have you violated any of their terms before? Um, because there are things like shadow bans and that sort of thing. So, so think of it like this, imagine a big publisher like Zynga releases a game. Now, on their account, on the, over their portfolio, they've got thousands of high quality ratings. I mean, like everything's in standing. They've, they've done everything by the book. 
So, <clears throat> do you think Apple are not going to promote a new game of theirs? better than let's say a publisher who's been using black hat tactics that's been shadow banned that's been buying reviews of course the bigger publishers who do everything right they will get better rankings so it's the same with you like if you start practicing black hat tactics now it's going to affect all your rankings in the future because apple know that chances are that you're going to keep on doing it so right off the bat that's why i say always practice uh, follow the guidelines and follow their best practices and then you shouldn't have a problem. So with all that said, let's jump into my computer so I can show you how I find nice juicy keywords to help my games rank well on the App Store. So if you follow my channel, you know there are two tools I use religiously when it comes to ASO research. These are sensortower.com and also data.ai. So the first thing I'll do uh, when doing keyword research is I will go to Sensor Tower and considering I have a beer pong game, I'm going to see who are the big players in the space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to add new keyword. I'm then going to proceed to type in beer pong. And the aim of this is just to see who are the big players in this space, okay? So up here at the top, we have a game just called Beer Pong. And what I wanna check is the competition for this kind of this, this uh, niche. So if I click on Beer Pong, and if the, if the app on the top of the uh, rankings is not doing any uh, big user acquisition, then I kind of know that it's less competitive. So if we check here, I must say that Sensor Tower has changed a little bit. Before they would uh, kind of give you um, like what user acquisition campaigns uh, certain apps are running. However, they've kind of changed that, but I'm still able to um, decipher a lot of information from this free version. So it's not no big loss. So as we can see here, they're not running any UA campaigns or paid UA campaigns because it normally shows here, um, it'll say active uh, for um, advertising. And then I wanna go to ratings. I wanna see what kind of ratings this, this app has. Okay, and it's got uh, 9,599, which it might seem like a lot, but in terms of like other apps on the App Store, some of them have hundreds of thousands of uh, ratings or even millions, and um, those would be very hard to rank for. So this app is number one for beer pong. It doesn't have a huge unobtainable, unobtainable number of ratings, and uh, they are not running any uh, user acquisitions. So that just tells me there's a good chance of me ranking in the top 10 for this, uh, for beer pong. The next thing I wanna do is to find other keywords is go to uh, data.ai. I wanna find that game here. So I'll type in beer pong. So it comes up and we have it right here. Then what I am going to do is scroll down to ASO keywords. And this is an awesome tool because it actually shows you um, what this particular game is ranking for uh, the highest. And we can then use those keywords and kind of decipher which ones are high traffic and low competition. So in, if you have a new game, the aim of the game is to find that balance of keywords that don't have such uh, high competition. Sometimes they won't have too, a lot of traffic going to them, the, the low competition ones, but there's always a trade-off because you want to rank um, in the top five for as many uh, keywords as you can, and that just gives you momentum to be able to rank later for uh, more higher competition keywords. So here we can see beer pong number one, pong number eight, 
What I typically like to do is I like to look for the longer tail keywords first, uh, just because generally those ones have, um, have much less competition for them. So for example here, ball throwing game, uh, it's ranked number one. So we'll go back to sensor tower and we will type add a new keyword and type in uh, ball throwing game and we're going to check ball throwing game okay the traffic is is pretty low however if you look here there's only 704 iPhone apps ranking for this uh, keyword so although the traffic is really low, there's, you can almost be certain that you're gonna rank really well if, if all of your other um, things in your ASO are well, like you have good screenshots, your game is, is well made, it's got good retention, uh, you're getting some ratings. It would be very easy to, to rank in the top 10 for at least ball throwing game. So what you wanna do is you wanna get enough of these lower um, traffic, but these lower traffic but also easier to rank for keywords and that's how you start build, building momentum especially if it's for a new app you don't have any ratings you don't have any reviews you kind of want to start off um, and put yourself in Apple's algorithm put yourself on their radar and um, that's how you get consistent rankings over time so even though it's low traffic um, you want to repeat this process over and over again until you kind of uh, find ones that have like decent traffic, even if it's a 2 or 2.5, but also less than a thousand apps ranking for that. Um, it's a very good indicator how well you will rank for. So that is basically the strategy that I use. It might seem simple, but it is kind of time consuming because you do have to go through many keywords uh, just to find those golden nuggets. So that's why I always say patience is a virtue and you need to learn some patience if you want to be successful at ASO. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you found some value, please, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to continue this journey with me and see uh, the end result, um, which will be really exciting. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.